the bantamweight division at its highest level was Miguel Torres and not much else. There wasn't a lot else going on aside from Miguel Torres for so long. And then you had a time where you had Dominic Cruz and then Dominic Cruz got Uri Faber and Dominic Cruz had some interesting tests and Demetrius Johnson and certain other guys and and, and and did some interesting things, but it wasn't like any of the other divisions. You know, Featherweight also took some time to develop, but it came along with Jose Aldo and became amazing. And then all the other uh, uh, divisions, we all know how great they are. Bantamweight was the one that really still, it had like the one guy and kind of not too much. Actually, we had that with Hen Burrell for a while too. He was the one guy and not too much competition. And then TJ Dillashaw really was the dawning of a new age in terms of, helping that division, and it really seemed to bloom from TJ Dillashaw on. And he was even a great dominant champion, if, even if you question if he was all the way natural or not. But just look at look at this list we have right now in the UFC Bantamweight division. Cejudo, Marias, Sterling, Jan, Sanhagen, Asuncel, Aldo, Munoz, Garbrandt, Stamen and Marlon Vera. Marlon Vera is at the end of the top, the 15 for the UFC rankings right now. And he's filthy. He's nasty. He's got like four or five finishes in a row. He's unbelievable. And that's with the back end guy. And then, add on, Frankie Edgar may be still coming into the division. We'll see. And then TJ Dillashaw is coming back soon. You can question uh, uh, PDs all you want. But he's still going to come back and still be nasty and still be a filthy fighter. So, man, Bantamweight is unbelievable right now. This is the most exciting division in the UFC tent for me right now. And if we're talking purely about evolving in the last 10 years, I mean, hell, the evolution of Bantamweight in the last two years has been unbelievable.